Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope you survived this week. It's been a long, boring week at home for a lot of us. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Um, I know I'm ready for just some downtime this weekend, trying to veg out. All right, so let's see. If you're watching in the replay, thank you as always. All right, I see a few people jumping in. Hello, everybody. All right, good. Let's see, I'm gonna pull you guys up, make sure I can see your comments, and share over to my page. How are you guys? Have you guys uh, survived this week? So strange, right? I, I guess, I mean, I keep saying that. It's so weird, so strange. But it really is. It's so bizarre. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you guys. Thanks for jumping on. And you know, it's Easter weekend. It just totally snuck up on me, I guess, because we've been so busy thinking about other things. I hadn't even realized it was Easter. I feel terrible. Um, it's a different kind of Easter this year, that's for sure. All right, good. It seems like you guys have found me. Um, today I have a full house. My whole family is here while I'm doing Facebook Live, which throws me off just a little bit. So hopefully we will be able to get things done. All right, good. I'm seeing lots of you. Hi, everybody. So good to see you. Thank you. All right. Now, that's weird. I can see comments popping up on my phone, but not over here, which is where I need to see them. Let me try one more time and then I'll move on because I know. There we go. Okay, now I can see you guys. Okay. So, welcome to Facebook Friday. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Um, this week we're doing the set, Under My Umbrella. Does it feel like spring where you guys are? Here, spring is humid, muggy, rainy, hot. Um, right now, everything is like overgrown, and it's, but it doesn't dry out enough to mow to mow the grass it's just everything's really green which is nice but it's very very muggy but anyway this is why I picked this set because I am ready for just that you know those bluebird spring days where there's no humidity <laughs> here in San Antonio those are rare and that's what I'm missing but I also love a good rain shower so we're gonna use under my umbrella it has that matching punch and I'm gonna show you how to line those up okay do you guys have this yet so cute um, and I put out a challenge to you guys earlier in the week, a color challenge. Here's one of the things we're gonna make. It was these colors plus one more. And um, it was a challenge Stampin' Up! gave us um, at the end of last week. And I love a challenge. Back years ago, before I was really doing Stampin' Up! all the, all the time as a business, I would do challenge blogs. Do you guys know about challenge blogs? They're blogs where people will post a challenge once, once a week and it gives you kind of a starting place, a sketch, um, a color combination. Um, and that's really how I got my blog started. I would do those and I had so much fun. So I always love a challenge. So when Stampin' Up! put that up last week, they're trying to help us stay creative, stay happy, <laughs> stay inspired during all of this craziness. So um, I got very excited and it really um, sparked a fire inside me. I was ready to stamp. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use those colors and I do have a prize for one person who posted something when I posted that color challenge earlier in the week. Um, if you haven't joined me before, I always do three projects. I'm usually centered around one product. This week it's the Under My Umbrella Bundle. And then um, I mail those free, those make and takes for free the following week to anybody who's placed an order, um, $35 or more using my host code um, between now and Monday at midnight. And this is what they look like. Here's last week's. This is um, a thank you tag. It is not a pre-stamped image. Um, you will need the stamps and like today for these projects you also need that punch but I send paper ribbon if there's die cuts I get them ready for you I score your paper and it's all in there and I send those out for free on um, I cut them on Tuesday send them on Wednesdays all right see how they look I've got lots of them here from the past few weeks so if you want the make and takes for free just make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight and there's a host code oh did I hmm <laughs> I printed out the host code and now it's not here wonder where it went I was gonna have it down here I have last week's code host code but it, look at it it's kind of a mess I'm not sure what happened to it 
but I'll put it down here anyway. I printed it out, a new one. You know what, my daughter came and got something off the printer, I bet she picked it up. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Um, if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, all of the projects that we do are on a PDF under the last photo, okay? It looks like this, has the measurements, has the products, and then the next few things I'm gonna tell you, there's details about those things too, okay? So hop over there. Now, let's see, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I have some things to tell you. Um, do I wanna flip the camera around? Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that to show you. Um, I have a special, okay, you guys, <laughs> hi Mike. Um, I am not fancy when I turn my um, camera around, so close your eyes. And then when I tell you to open them, it'll be flipped around. <laughs> Hi, Jill, how are you? Good to see you. Jill is one of my, oh, I don't wanna use the word oldest Jill, but longest running um, teacher friends. We were teachers um, at Fortin Elementary here in San Antonio. Um, many years ago. Gosh, our girls are now 17, so that was like 18, 19 years ago. And poor Jill is one of those teachers trying to make distance learning happen. It's very difficult, I know. But I'm glad you were able to join me today. Okay, so if you're on my mailing list, yesterday I sent out an email that I have a quick ship class. Oh, by the way, you can open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to tell you to close your eyes while I flipped the camera around and then I don't know if I did. Anyway, open your eyes if you close them. Um, quick ship class. Um, I know there's a lot of you who are bored at home and you're looking for some stuff to do and this was something I had planned on doing this month and I got it done real quick this week. Um, this is this is, let's see, I'm trying to think of how I want to describe it. Um, the, I'm calling it the Power of Hope slash Butterfly Wishes class. You guys remember the Power of Hope from Celebration? It was a level two. Um, and I heard lots of you say you really wanted that embossing folder, but you weren't willing to use your level two celebration, if you had earned it, on it because you maybe weren't necessarily in love with a stamp set. So I decided to collect these during celebration. Because of all the classes that I do and the events that I do, sorry, I'm turning my fan down, um, I get a lot of celebration stuff. So I collected a bunch of these and I designed a class around it. Um, so the class is gonna include this for free. Um, I'm giving you that as a gift when you buy this class kit. Um, the class kit itself will have six projects. Here they are, five of them are cards. They feature the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. Um, as well as the nature's twine. Uh, oh, and there, here's the sixth one. It's a little, oops, it's not tied. It's a little tea bag holder. Oh, what did I do? There it is. See, it opens and holds a tea bag. Um, and it uses, all six of these projects use that stone embossing folder as well as either Power of Hope or Butterfly Wishes. So I cut all the kits already. I have just enough kits to go with how many of these I have to give away, um, which is quite a few. Now, my ladybug class that I did in the same way sold out like that, 30 minutes. But I sent this out an email yesterday and I'm not sold out yet. So if you're interested, it is $53. That includes shipping. It includes the Power of Hope stamp set, the embossing folder. Um, your six make and takes. You're gonna also get a full pack of designer series paper, a full pack of nature's twine, and a full pack of the sequins. All right, so um, all of that for $53, including shipping. Um, now, the kits are cut, but I have to order the product, okay? So as soon as the, the classes sell out, I'm gonna expedite all the product here and get them out in the mail, hopefully next week by Wednesday. Um, I really want them to get to you um, quickly. So if you're interested, I haven't listed it on my blog. Um, you have to send me an email and that's what was on that thing that I printed. Send me an email to let me know that you want it and I'll send you the link. Um, you guys, email is a lot better than Facebook Messenger because I don't always see Facebook Messenger. Okay, so here's my email. It was all printed so nice and neat. 
That's what happens when five people are sharing a printer, right? Here's my email. If you want to see the details written out, also I can send you just the link to check it out, okay? Can you guys see that? Now, if you don't have the Butterfly Wishes stamp set or something that you can use in place of it, you can add this onto your kit as well. Um, you can also add on some of the blends um, and some of the markers if you need them, okay? So, Power of Hope, class to go. It'll look like this when it comes to you. Here's the, here are the make and takes, and here are the projects. They're beautiful, they're soft and sweet, I think, gentle. That, that uh, paper's just really beautiful. All right, okay. Um, I will put my email address up in the description of the video um, when I'm done today. And yes, there is a PDF version. It's already in my PDF store at the top of my blog. Um, you'll see PDF store. So click on that, scroll down, it's alphabetical, you'll find it there. Okay, so there's that. Um, this class, you know what, let's do this class first. This class's deadline is next Friday, Tropical Oasis. And I noticed on the inventory status report that these are now coming in on the 20th instead of the 27th, so that's good. Uh, they will not be delayed for very long. And there are eight projects in this class, and you get a full pack of the memories and more, um, the twine, and the bundle if you want it. If you want the details, click on that link on the bottom of today's post at pinkbuckaroo.com. You'll find out the details there. It's also on the PDF. Uh, so deadline, well, no, April 19th. That's not next Friday, is it? No, it's not. It is the following Sunday, so a week from this Sunday. Okay, so there's that. And I have one other class for this month, Ornate Thanks, and lots of projects with three bonus tutorials in the PDF. Um, this is the new pre-order stuff that is kind of like a sneak peek from the annual catalog that comes out in June, and I've designed a class around it, and it's so cute. Somebody said that this paper reminded them of Mary Inglebright, and it totally does. You guys remember Mary Inglebright? I love Mary Inglebright. Anyways, this deadline's at the end of the month, but you can message me for the link to that as well, all right? Okay, now what else do I need to tell you? Um, last week I told you about this month's Botanical Prints All-Star Tutorial Bundle. All 12 tutorials use the Botanical Prints, and I couldn't find my projects last week, but here it is. It's a little desktop um, post-it note holder using the botanical print. So it's in here along with 11 others. You get it free when you spend $50 or more online with me, or you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. All right. All right. I'm going to set that on my computer because I haven't sent those out this week and I need to remember. All right. How about prizes? And Mike, what were you saying about prizes? My iPad keeps not showing me the comments. Err. I want to be able to see Okay, swipe left. Yeah, well, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, technology. All right, prizes from last week. Let's do prizes from last week. Um, last week I picked two random winners who shared the video on Facebook and the winners are Renee Roberts and Kelly Brislin. Congratulations, ladies. Renee is one of my downlines. So I know I have your uh, mailing address and Kelly do I have yours I'm not sure message me okay Kelly or email me okay <laughs> guys seriously Facebook Messenger and I are not good I'm very good with my email but Facebook Messenger not so much um, I forget you know I'll see it pop up and then I forget it, like disappears so but email it's always in your inbox and you know to always go check your inbox right is it just me I don't know all right then one more prize remember here's our um, color challenge. Uh, let me get them in order. Um, and so I had a handful of you share some projects that you made with this beautiful color challenge. And I picked one winner, Michelle Watt. I saw her on here. So congratulations, Michelle. I'm going to send you the Make a Splash host set. All right. Thanks for playing along. All right. Now this week, I feel like I have a very appropriate um, stamp set to give away two of them back on your feet um, sometimes that's all there is to say and that I'm here for you that's a good one to send out right now don't you think so if you would like to be a winner next week share the video on Facebook and I will pick two winners next week you're welcome Michelle thank you I'm glad you played along 
Okay, I think we're ready. Now, you guys know this bugs me. That's gonna bug me. It looks kind of junky. Let me let me put it up here so that then I won't see it just as I float through Facebook and it pops up. Let me see. Okay, we'll put it up here. So that's the host code. If you want today's projects, you gotta use that host code right there on your order. Okay, let's get started. Let me move this over here. Let me get situated. All right, all right. So we're using this bundle. It's so cute under my umbrella. Um, do you guys have this? Some of you have it already? I've seen some really cute things online um, with this bundle. And I posted something yesterday too on my blog. It was a, it was a swap that I did last month. And I was holding on to it because I thought I would use it for today, but then I changed changed it up. Um, so it it will line up with these images, and it will punch these three out. I'm going to show you how to line that up on your block. Um, now this card was my first card that I made with this in mind, but then I did a couple other versions. So at the end, when we're done with this card, I'm going to show you the other versions. Okay. All right, so our color combo was terracotta tile in color, grapefruit grove in color, mango Mel melody, daffodil delight, coastal gabbana, and Bermuda Bay. I couldn't get six umbrellas on a card, so I decided to take out mango melody. All right, still the same look, don't you think? All right, so that those are the colors we're going to do, and we're going to stamp the umbrella in each of those colors on the same color cardstock. Now let's get our our stamps on our block. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I have a scrap piece of paper and I've just punched the shapes out, right? So now that's my template to lay out my stamps to get them on my block. So put them in the little window there and line them up. And that way when you stamp them, when you go to punch them, they'll all be perfectly aligned. Now, I'm gonna do all three. You don't have to do all three for this card. We really just need those two, but we're gonna go ahead and do all three because you might as well, and then you have them for other projects. All right, so then you pick it up with your block, and there you have it. All right, so let's line up our inks. We've got terracotta tile, grapefruit grove, Daffodil Delight, Coastal Cabana, and Bermuda Bay. By the way, yes, there are clean, ah, there are clean recordings of these. They're already on YouTube and I will link them up this evening, okay, over on my blog post. So if you wanna come back and make this, you can, you don't have to listen to all the, you know, Facebook live chatter. All right, so now I've got same color cardstock, terracotta tile, Grapefruit Grove, Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight. And we're gonna stamp it in each of those inks. And you need to clean your stamp every time. Except when you go really, if you went from this to this, you probably would be okay without cleaning your stamp. But I'm gonna use my chamois. And let's see, Daffodil Delight. My chamois is nicely, freshly cleaned. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Coastal Cabana. And last but not least, Bermuda Bay. All right. Now, gotta close these up, because you know what happens. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I can see it on the screen. It's all in a rainbow. Ah! And I just stuck my thumb in Grapefruit Grove, or one of them. Let's see, I have a paper towel sitting right there. Okay, now let's punch them out. You're gonna just stick this in right here and they're gonna line up and you just punch them. The one that I find is the hardest to really line up is that umbrella handle because it's so skinny. So after I made my first card and then I made the other two, I realized, you know, you really don't even have to stamp the handle. You could just punch out a handle, right? So that's probably what I would do next time. 
because I feel like I just couldn't get my handle perfectly centered. Um, the handle stamp would come in handy if you were gonna stamp this flat and not punch it out. So that stamp, I mean, you need it, but maybe not necessarily for this. Hey, Elaine, good to see you, glad you're here. All right, last one, terracotta tile, you guys. I've really started to love this color. I didn't think I liked it. But since I've been working with the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper, it's like the main color in that paper. I really like it. It's um, redder than I thought it was. Okay, so we're gonna pull these out. We'll save them for another project. And we're gonna flip the umbrellas all over. And I'm gonna show you kind of a hack. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's considered a hack on how to, to put down your, your umbrellas, I mean your handles. You could get out your liquid glue, you know, mess with that. Or you could do what I'm gonna show you. I was pretty impressed with myself <laughs> when I did this. I don't know, maybe it's stupid. All right, last one. Hi Debbie, good to see you. Now, grab your dimensionals and just stick that dimensional right on top of that handle. Because we're gonna stick these down, whoops, we're gonna stick these down with dimensionals. Right, so, kill two birds with one stone, stick that handle down, and you've got it. Okay, easy peasy. Now, the rest of the card is really simple. You're gonna get a coastal, nope, a Bermuda Bay card base. This is a um, full sheet of cardstock where you cut in half at five and a half, score down the middle at four and a fourth so that the fold is at the top. And then <clears throat> grab your, and let me move these, grab your um, light Bermuda Bay stamp and blend. And let's just flick some color. I can never stop. There we go. And then we're gonna take our Bermuda Bay and we're gonna stamp this sentiment. No matter the weather, we're friends forever. All right, right there. Okay, now just take and I'm gonna start on the outsides and we wanna get them in order, right? So let's do, 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 do like that. I'm gonna start on the outside and I'm gonna kind of angle this a little bit like that. And I'm gonna start over here on this side like that. So they're kind of angled both in a little bit. That one's a little bit more. Okay, then grapefruit, it's a little more straight. Coastal Cabana, a little more straight. And Daffodil Delight, right in the middle. So bright and cheery and cute. And then, um, let's just do it flat. You could do more dimensionals if you want, but we'll just stick it flat on the card base. And that's it for this card. Ta-da! So cute. Now, I told you there were some alternate versions, okay? Let me show you. Remember those other? um those other umbrellas that we punched out look there they are and you can just go and punch some solid handles you don't have to restamp all of it all right then how about the umbrellas that way i really couldn't decide if i liked them upside down or pointed up i couldn't decide which one i liked better mm, i don't know i like them both three different ways to do the same card so cute what do you guys think you like it I like it. Very cute and fun and bright and cheery. Because we could all use a little cheery right now, right? All righty. Let's get to our next project. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. All right, now the next one uses the same colors, except this time we're a little stepped up. We're going to emboss and watercolor. All right, so it's a few more steps. I created um, a just kind of a puddle background is what I wanted it to look like, kind of like a puddle. And then I'm gonna heat emboss the umbrellas and watercolor those as well. 
So, and look, here's the one I did in the clean recording. You can see it's gonna look different every time, right? Now that ink looks a little greener. So this is Coastal Cabana. Maybe I did Bermuda Bay there. Hmm, interesting. We'll try Bermuda Bay this time and see. One's much greener than the other. Okay, so let's do our background first because you're gonna need to do this and let it dry. This is a piece of um, watercolor paper that we sell um, and I've cut it down to four by five and a fourth. I've taped it to a piece of just junky chipboard. You can see the puppy has gotten a hold of this <laughs> and um, taped it down just with some painter's tape. Then I'm gonna get my Bermuda Bay and I'm gonna squeeze it like this so that I have ink on the lid. If you don't like that, use your clear block as a palette and stamp it on there, get some ink and you can use it that way, but I'm just gonna do it that way. All right, let's get our paper really wet. This is a spritzer just with water. And then I'm gonna grab my aqua painter and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water in that lid. And then I'm just gonna kind of haphazardly I kind of like to do this when you just drop it. See how it just kind of spreads out? And you can squeeze the water or you can just let it go with the water that's on there. And it's gonna be pretty light when it dries because we've used lots of water. But there's no wrong or right, right way. One thing I do like, ooh, look at that. I like when it runs, when it runs down. All right, so you just wanna just kind of do an abstract puddle in the background. All right, that one's good, I'm gonna leave it. And don't worry, I have a dried one, we don't have to wait 15 minutes. <laughs> I have a dry one, already done, ta-da! Okay, now, since we've done that, while we're waiting for it to dry, we're pretending like we're waiting for it to dry, let me move this, too much stuff here. We're gonna make those cute little umbrellas, okay? All right. Now, I've, this time I've got a piece of shimmer white cardstock. You um, can watercolor either on watercolor paper or the shimmer white. I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer white. Yeah, I mean, it's literally shimmery. For some reason, the, the paper doesn't pill like our regular white cardstock does if you try to watercolor on it. So invest in both i think i they're they both have a different look the watercolor paper has a texture and this is smooth so that was the embossing buddy i just ran that over that so that where did my yeah, right here so that that the embossing buddy releases um static cling so if you have any of that oh you know um embossing <laughs> embossing powder pieces um, won't cling to where they're not supposed to cling to. See what happens when I'm trying to read comments? I just become very distracted. The embossing buddy releases static clinging so that the embossing powder won't stick to the wrong place. That's what I was trying to say. All right, I'm gonna stamp it in Versamark. Versamark is clear, you can't see it. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my white. Oh, Cindy, don't even talk about my nails. Yeah, this is three weeks. This is three weeks. So next week, they're probably going to be gone. I'm going to have to soak them off. I haven't gotten them done in three weeks. So I know. I mean, first world problems. Seriously, please don't think I'm being, what's the word? What's the word that I'm looking for? Glib, right? Is that the right word? Because I know, I know there are people who are sick, all that. People are out of jobs, but it's kind of like, ah, what do I do with these nails? I did Google it. I'm going to soak them in acetone. <sighs> but they're, um, by the way, they're not acrylic. They are dip. I know this is like a lesson on nails, you guys. Um, I'm heating this with a heat tool, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see it. Um, dip is really cool. Acrylic nails, I just, ugh, they always are popping off and peeling back and I did not want to have that. So if you guys remember in November, I had to do a big presentation in Las Vegas and I went to get my nails done and I said, please only give me something that's sturdy and I'm not going to have to keep up with blah, blah, blah. And she said, oh, you need dip. 
And I was like, oh, whatever. Okay, they really do last a very, very long time. Um, three solid weeks, possibly even four. And uh, they never peel up or whatever. It's really nice. However, when you're in a pandemic, <laughs> it's a problem. It is a problem. Okay, so now we have dried our... Um, we have dried our heat embossed our umbrellas. And now I'm gonna grab that aqua painter and you've got to run it dry like this, run it clear. Thanks guys, it bothers me that I can see my, you know, like the growth, I don't like that. I feel like, Ugh, but whatever, it is what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna, I got my aqua painter clean and I'm gonna um, get the umbrella nice and wet and then grab terracotta tile and just paint it in and that white embossing powder is going to res resist um, the color so it's going to pop you'll see those lines popping out okay see how that just that color just rolled right off whoops I smeared it but that's okay because we're going to punch it out Okay, so there we go, we've got terracotta tile. And then we will do, what are the other colors? I don't even know, what do I have? Grapefruit Grove. Wrap no, nails in tin foil, yes, I did see that, Andrea. Um, tin foil swab soak nastone, I did see that, yeah. Um, oops, you know what I meant to do, hold on. I really like to get this wet before I, I paint it because if you don't get it wet, um, sometimes when you set that color down, it kind of puts a stain, a stain, I don't know if that's the right word, it drops too much, um, ink and then it it won't blend so really get it wet first um i did read that andrea thank you for that tip um i actually funny enough is that i had planned on not i don't have enough color here i um had planned on not keeping them so i had googled that right away after i got my nails done the first time and uh because i don't like when you go in and they use the you know and they file them off and oh i hate that feeling so i was like how can i do it and i ordered the acetone back in November so I've had it but then I really liked having my nails done so I kept them so I have it um Elaine I'm really hard on my hands too um I'm telling you this dip whatever it is is amazing it's different than acrylic nails it's different but I love a pedicure too oh I do my husband gave me a gift certificate to a spa for Christmas that I love. They they give the best pedicure. And I haven't used it. And then now it's like staring at me, like taunting me. Ha ha, you can't get a pedicure now. You waited too long. <laughs> Sad. All right, so we've done terracotta tile, um, grapefruit grove, and now mango melody. Look how yellow mango is. It always surprises me. I always think it's going to be oranger, but it's not. It's an orangey yellow, yes, but it's very yellow. Okay, we've got that done. Now, let's move that over. We're going to give that a few minutes to dry, and let's grab our pre-done puddle background and just carefully peel that off. That painter's tape should release your paper. Oh, I don't like how that left a hard line, but oh well, we're going to go with it. Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did earlier and add a few Bermuda Bay specks. This time I'm gonna use the dark. Ooh, I love it. All right, now um, the sentiment. Let's do that because I always forget to the very end. And uh, then I'm trying to stamp the sentiment when there's um, dimensionals behind it showered with love I love that that's cute all right let's adhere it to the back and you know this is um watercolor paper is much thicker and it's kind of warped a little bit because it's had that water on it so I like to put a lot of adhesive on there all right there we go all right now Come over and punch out your, let's punch that real close to the edge because I smeared that. Let's see. Well, I did it on top and the bottom. Oh, well, watercolor isn't supposed to look perfect. <laughs> That's why I tell myself anyway. No, it's really not. Punch that and 
punch. Um, you guys are asking about, does that damage the marker tip, that flicking? You know, I originally said no to that, but I think if you do it a lot like I do, it does start to fray the tip of your markers. Um, but I do it a lot and you know, I can't tell what's wear and tear on my marker and what's me flicking. It's probably the flicking. Um, but, uh, $4.50, I feel like it's worth it. And I tend to use that bullet tip rather than the, um, rather than the brush tip when I color. So... You know, it's just a personal preference, Mike. It's a good question. Um, we, I used to do this with my markers, like that, and it would do it. That was like, maybe that was with the aqua painter. I can't remember. We used to have a tool that you would hook up to the marker and it was like a bulb and it would go and it would spray the ink with with air. That was good. I don't know, I probably it's not, I mean, it, yeah probably going to wear down the tips a little bit, but I don't know. It's one of those things I think is worth it. And if the, if I ever wear it out completely, the marker tip, then I'll just replace it. You know, $4.50 to me is not too bad. Okay. Now let's put, let's start. Um, do we want to start? Yeah. At the bottom. So we'll do mango at the bottom and <laughs> Les says she still, I, I have that, you have that. I think I have my my bulb spritzer. Is that what it was called? I think I have mine too. That's one of those things you just can't give up, right? Okay, I was talking and I just punched that out of the shimmer white, right? I didn't do any stamping. And I put those on like we did in the first project with dimensionals and then I just stuck them on. Now, the sentiment says showered with love. So I pulled out my epoxy hearts, of course, those go perfect with that. I'll do a few large and a few tiny. And let's see, I don't have my take your pick tool. I do have it, but it has the wrong end on it. So we'll just use this. And hmm, there we go. All right, one last thing. What do you think it is? It's twine, of course. Yes, um, Lisa, it can be done with your ink and your aqua painter too, um, j just flicking it. Um, it's not going to be as solid color as what you're seeing here. Um, and you'd have to wait for your background, um, you know, the wash that we did. You have to wait till that's completely dry. Otherwise, the, the drops will just kind of bleed into your, you know, your, what, you've, what you've already done. All right, a whisper white twine around the fold of the card, and there you have it. Look, I have three of them now. Cute. I think I'm going to send those out as happy mail this week. It's a good time to be sending out happy mail, don't you think, guys? It's a really good time. All right, so there are our two cards. I have one more project. Thank you, guys. I hope I'm not missing... Um, Any comments I'm looking. Um, Danielle has, says, how quickly do you go through your blends? You know, Danielle, I use my blends pretty much daily, if not just two or three times a week. And I only replace the, a color here and there. I, they really, they do, for me, they last quite a bit, quite a bit of time. I don't, I don't have to replace them very often. If I do a swap or something like that, where I've colored a bunch of cards in one color, that's when I tend to need to replace one, but usually not too, not too often. Okay, third project is a 3D. This is a in the milk carton style, right? And it just pulls off like that. And inside I have one of these, um, and they are in stock when I checked Bath and Body Works yesterday. However, guys, just put candy in there. It doesn't have to be this, um, but you could put anything in here, okay? And, it just slides down so they don't have to like untie it, open it up, but it looks like a milk carton. All right, it's very cute. All right, so this is when you're gonna need today's PDF 
Here it is, because <laughs> I'm gonna need it too. This especially has a bunch of score lines right here, okay? So you're gonna need those score lines to make this project. Let me clear a path on my desk for the, for the Simply Scored. Okay, two colors that I'm using. Again, Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. Bermuda Bay goes on the bottom and it is six by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna score all four sides at two inches. Okay, turn, turn, turn. Then I'm gonna get the long Coastal Cabana piece. And you know, <laughs> my, look, it's crooked. The one I did this morning on my clean recording was crooked too. I don't know what's going on with my cutting. Seven by three and three fourths. Seven by three and three fourths. Look, that is not three and three fourths. All right, let's try this again. There, seven. I had I had a spare this week because this project's a little tricky. Seven by three and three fourths. On the short side, you're going to score at two and a fourth, and three and a fourth. Okay. On the long side, you're going to score it at half an inch, one and three fourths, which is right here three and three fourths and five all right okay let's make the bottom first there we go get your bone folder and make those oh michelle your dog ate your twine the other day oh, oh. that's gonna be interesting <laughs> All right, now you're gonna score these two lines here and here on the top and the bottom on the long sides, okay? And then I want you to cut off the corners. We're gonna remove some of the bulk from these little tabs, okay? So that's all you're doing there. So, and you could do it this way too. You could cut off the corner first and then cut up whichever way. Just cut those corners off. All right. Um, Jerry, which kits are you talking about? Are you talking about today's make and takes or are you talking about um, the class to go that I showed at the beginning? I'll be happy to explain. Look, do you guys see what I'm using? Tombo and I are really, we're jiving lately. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right, now I've put adhesive on those triangles and I'm just gonna fold them in like that and then fold up the front and the back. All right. Now my comments have frozen again. Oh wait, no, they haven't. Here they are. Uh-oh, no, no. See what happens? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, make sure it's straight. Okay, so there you've got your bottom of your box, okay? All right, I'm, I'm Jerry, uh, beginning the class. Um, the class at the beginning, the Power of Hope class, you need to email me um, for that registration link. For all my classes to go, you have to email me for the registration link. Here's my email address, okay? Facebook Messenger works, but not as well as email because I don't always see my Facebook messages. Um, but Erica at pinkfuckery.com, send me an email and just say, um, I would like to register or I'd like more details on such and such class and then I'll send them to you. Um, per Stampin' Up! Rules, we can't list links online to um, classes, but we can email them. So that's, that's the deal with that. So just send me an email. There are um, also on this PDF today over at pinkbucker.com, you'll see there, the links for these two classes are there. But the Power of Hope class is just kind of a deal I just pulled out of the ca cabinet this week and um, it's not on here. So email me, okay? Okay, so I've burnished all those lines. One thing that you need to do is, and I did it backwards, this middle line needs to go forward and well, forward and backwards, but this one for sure forwards because actually that one goes in and then out. It'll make sense in a minute. Okay, now we need to make these triangles right here, these little triangles. That's gonna help you kind of pinch in your box. So you're gonna need 
a pencil. Where did my pencil go? A pencil and a ruler. And the two squares right here, those are the sides. You're gonna make a mark. They are one and a fourth. So you're gonna make them, you're gonna make a mark at five eighths, just a little tick mark, five eighths. Okay, right there. Then grab your stylus on the end of your take your pick tool. Line your ruler up with that point and with that corner. Okay, and make a score line basically old school scoring okay and then do it with the opposite corner right there at your tick mark down to the bottom corner and again to that bottom corner all right then erase your little tick mark and you want to really this is where where I always get stuck if I don't pre fold in these little um these corner not corner these triangle score lines it makes it hard to pop those sides out so really bend that cardstock tell it what you want it to do so it'll be ready when you get it up there now before we put it together let's put some raindrops on there we've got a raindrop stamp and coastal cabana ink and let's see we will make this the front. This is the front right here. So I'm just gonna stamp, and you know what, you guys? You could stamp raindrops all over it, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do right here on this front panel. All right, maybe a little bit more right there. Okay, now I'm gonna take some tear and tape, and on this long end skinny tab, put my tear and tape right there. And then I need this. And peel that backing off like that. And if you fold this in half, it should line up perfectly right there. All right, so you've got kind of a box, a basic box, and we're gonna pinch in those score lines that we had and pinch the top and see how that they went. They did what I told them to do. Sometimes they won't bend or they won't bend right. So you, because this one is open, you can actually stick your fingers up in there and get it to bend to your will. All right, now, because this is a, a pull off, we're just gonna tie it up here. You, you, don't, you could adhere it closed if you wanted to, but we're gonna tie it. And I'm gonna, any hole punch will work. I'm gonna punch two holes right there hi Robin thank you I love these colors too so much they really last week when I was just kind of like ugh, couldn't find my mojo feeling ugh, these colors I saw them and I was pulled pulled all the ink pads out and it just magically made me feel very inspired so I'm glad you like them and I'm glad Stampin' Up! is put them out for us and they there was a new color combo that they put on our demonstrator Facebook page yesterday so I'm gonna play with that this weekend all right now if I can get these to feed through here I have this very small hole punch so my ribbons like how do you want me to fit through there all right let's cut that off I probably cut way too much and we are going to okay Calm down, little box. It's flapping all over the place because it's not weighted down with anything yet. There we go. And sometimes my bow, I need to turn it that way. There we go. This is the Bermuda Bay striped ribbon, one of my favorites, and it looks Coastal Cabana-ish with the white, doesn't it look more Coastal Cabana? All right, now, here's the deal, you guys. And maybe you could figure out how to make it a little bit better. I I won't tell you how many of these I made trying to get it perfect, and I couldn't get it perfect. So this is exactly the same size right here. These are exactly the same size. So what you're gonna have to do is pinch this in a little bit to get it to go in, all right? And there you have it. 
Now there's probably someone out there smart enough to figure out my measurements so that this would be just a slight bit bigger than this. But for whatever reason, last week when I was making this, I couldn't get it. <laughs> like seven tries. Sometimes the math doesn't work for me. But anyways, it works fine. It's enough. But just know that they are perfectly exactly the same size. So I just pinched that in a little bit to make it slide in. Okay. Okay. Now we're ready for the tag. There's your box. You could do any color combination you wanted really. Um, but I'm sticking with these colors. Now this time we're going to take this off and we're gonna put these back on and I've got my little template here again because we are gonna need the handle and the closed, slightly closed umbrella. Thanks Stacy. I'm glad you like it. I'm going to grab Grapefruit Grove. A lot of inks this week, lots. And let me look at my punch so that I stamp it. Well, I have it right there next to me. I guess I could see. And when I put this in my paper, what I'm doing is making sure that I punch it here, not like weird wonky, you know? So if I'm gonna punch it here. That means I wanna stamp them down here towards the bottom. So this is Grapefruit Grove DSP, Designer Series Paper. And it is from the 2018-2020 In Color Paper Pack which will be retiring shortly. You guys, at the end of this month, we will get the retired list. And you know that those five awesome in colors will be retiring. So you need to make sure you snag those up before they sell out because a lot of times they will even sell out before the retired list comes out because it's like the sure bet, right? We know that those will be retiring. Okay, so we've got our umbrella and Let's do our rain boots. We're gonna do it in memento black on whisper white. And I'm also gonna take the flowers and I'm gonna stamp them over here on the edge of this rain boot like that. Can you see how that's gonna look? Isn't that cute? Looks like it's a patterned paper. Now, normally you can just start coloring with your blends when you use memento black, but for whatever reason, here at my house, I have to heat set this when I use yellow. Yellow always, for some reason, picks up that memento. Either I have to give it 10 minutes to set or I have to heat set it. So we're gonna heat set it. None of the other colors do it, it's yellow. And we are definitely using some yellow. All right, so Daffodil Delight. Daffodil Delight Light. I'm just gonna give the flowers, I mean the rain boots, a good wash in light daffodil delight. And I'm gonna leave that open because I'm gonna use it again. Now I'm gonna get my dark daffodil delight and I'm gonna put a shadow line right here where these two boots overlap. And then I'm also gonna make that band at the top and the sole down here dark. Okay, now take your light and go back here and blend that in. Okay, so the one in the front is a little bit lighter than the one in the back. All right, light Bermuda Bay. I'm gonna do this flower right here. And now those flowers are hanging off the side of the boot. I understand. We're gonna cut it out and you won't be able to see it. Okay, I'm gonna take my dark and just color that little right there. And then I'm gonna color this flower, tiny little flower back here in the back. And then let's do, mm, what other colors do I have? Let's do, this is light Calypso. And I guess I don't wanna do two Calypsos right next to each other, so I will do this one, Daffodil Delight. Dark, that flower right there. All right, now let me close all of these. Last but not least, we've got the leaves. Granny Apple Green Dark. All right, there we go, so cute. Now you need your little tiny, small pair of scissors and you wanna cut off that extra cardstock and then just cut right on the outside of that black line. 
Okay. There we go. Now, do you guys have plans for Easter on Sunday? How are you handling Easter? <sighs> so weird. So not normal. I'm not real sure what we're doing. But, hmm. Who knows? All right. All right. Let's see. One last stamp. We're almost done. What time is it? Yep. Five till. Man, I'm good. I'm good. Right on time. <laughs> Life's showers bring love's flowers. I love the font in this stamp set. And I love the sayings. They're really cute. All right. That dimensional we already used there. And then the boots right there and there's our tag very cute we're going to put this tag on the top part that way when you slide it off it's not connected to the bottom okay so put two dimensionals up towards the top oh look what i did hold please put two dimensionals up towards the top and we're going to stick it to the top top of the box like that all right and then it slides yay so cute these would make nice little table favors wouldn't they now this one's a little bit down there we go like that all right what do you guys think really fun and really cute even if it's not 100 percent perfect it's okay all right you guys there you have it three fun springy um under my umbrella projects. So let's look at all three of them. Let's review class. Um, there we go. There they all who have to put all of these here because they're so they're so cute. Um, now, guys, remember, if you want the make and takes, here's the host code for you. Um, any order over thirty five dollars that um, uses the host code will get these three make and take kits for free next week. I'll put them in the mail on Wednesday. Um, if your order it happens to be over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get free stamp and rewards. And, um, but I'll still send you the projects for free. All right. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Next week, I'm going to do, um, birthday Jubilee. I'm very excited about it. I have two of the projects already ready for you. All right. Y'all let me know if you have any questions. Remember, here's my rinky dink sign this week. Um, that's my email address. Email me if you want that link for that Power of Hope class. And I'll be ordering the products for that on Monday and have them out hopefully by Wednesday. I'm going to expedite that order, okay? So you guys can have the kit super fast. Thanks, guys. Happy Easter. Have a wonderful weekend and stay safe. Bye-bye.